Hello and welcome to Night Parade, the show where we watch anime and talk about it for your entertainment. I'm Fat Man. I'm Fat Moves. And tonight, we're reviewing Natsume Yujin Show, or Natsume's Book of Friends. This show is super chill. So chill. <laughs> it does things to you, levels of chill. We're doing a yokai show! Holy shit, finally! Our comments about them, and our illusion will no longer be for naught. Yeah, I guess the Little Spider Girl short movie was kind of about yokai, but that was very impromptu and short notice. Yes, it was. Now we finally have the chance to spend some time taking notes and watching this awesome series that I love that's about yokai and stuff. Yokai and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, for this one, I came up with the most basic summary uh. I could. At its core, Natsume Yujin Show is about a boy, his personal growth, and how he affects the people around him. That is you the core of this show. Absolutely correct. And it's so chill and emotional at times, and I love it. It is quite the journey. This show is all about life lessons. And it uses yeah. fun, interesting characters and supernatural elements to to teach you these lessons. Yeah. And the personal yeah. growth of the main character, Natsume. Yeah, he, he grows a lot throughout the show. So, before we get into the gist of the show, I want to uh, just talk about a couple of the characters. Let's start with uh, Natsume. Natsume is a pretty boy that can see yokai. He's introverted, he doesn't like causing trouble for people, and I'm pretty sure his kindness is going to get him killed someday, because he's, like, the kindest anime character I know. Yeah, he's, like, one of the nicest anime characters ever. He goes so far out of his way to help people he doesn't even know. Yeah, he's kind of like Tenma. And, like, comparing them to, like, anime characters that go out of their way to help people. Think that's an apt comparison? Which Tenma? Dr. Tenma from Monster? Dr. Tenma! Duh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. There's many Tenmos. But it's an apt comparison, don't you think? Yeah, I can see that. In terms of nicety. Yeah. That That's generally where the comparison ends. <laughs> Is they both go above and beyond to tell people. Yeah. Uh, we've also got uh, Madara, or Nyanko-sensei, who is a large, white, wolf-like yokai that often takes the form of a calico-colored lucky cat. And Madara is best cat. Madara is indeed best cat. Fight. I mean, there are probably other cats in anime that are better, but he's the best cat in that show. Madara is my favorite character in this show, hands down. I, he's just so... Chill? <laughs> he, he's a fat cat. <laughs> he's funny. He's lazy. He's a bit sassy. I love him. And I was gonna talk about uh, Natori, but I forgot he's not too much of a character in the first season. Who? Natori? He's the... Uh, the actor slash exorcist that uh, that Natsume befriends. Oh yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah, he's shockingly not relevant. He'll 
play a much larger part in the uh, seasons after this one. Natsume, like I said, can see yokai. And growing up, that was kind of a problem for him. As he can see things that other people can't. So he'd come off as creepy or just a, a liar for s or, saying that he can see things that they can't. Or weird. Yeah. So he was passed on to relatives and family friends to, uh, uh, to be raised. After his parents died? And his grandma passed away? Yeah, I it... should have paid more attention to the backstory. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he's basically on his own. Yeah. Give, give or take. This show is really chill and relaxing, <laughs> and as you watch it, it's kind of hard to uh, pay attention to things. And yeah. That's in the best way possible. It, like the show isn't boring, it's just super chill and I had it's a we contemplative. Had a, we had a hard time taking notes while watching it. Cuz then you just start thinking about stuff, right? Yeah. Like your own life or the life the main character leads. Yeah. This it's just a show that makes you think about stuff. Very... Thoughtful. Yes. And it takes its sweet time. It's nothing too crazy. Yeah. So, he's in a new home at the start of this anime. Uh, going to a new school. New group of people that don't really know him. And... Uh, New friends. He's in an area that his grandmother grew up in. And the thing about yokai is that they can't really tell the difference between family members for the most part. So there's a bunch of yokai in this area that think our, our, uh, our MC is his grandma. Yeah, and it's kind of sweet, kind of sad at times. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, Reiko's back. Like, and oh, then... no, Reiko's dead. Oh. And then... <laughs> oh. And then they feel sad because they were friends with Reiko. Or they really want Reiko dead or something. Yeah. So... We start off, and Natsume is being chased by some yokai through the forest. And, uh, in the past, uh, he said that he would run to altars or shrines to get away from them. Because they've got, like, protective barriers around them or something. Yeah, probably. And he stumbles across... A shrine and accidentally breaks the seal on it. And out pops best cat, Nyanko Sensei. Nyanko, or Madara. Whatever he, you feel like calling him. He is just the most adorable little chubby cat, and I want to squeeze him and never let him go. He, he seems like one of those plus. He, he's like a plush toy. Yeah. In a uh, good way. Yeah. And then we learn that the yokai chasing him were going after him because they thought he was his grandma. And that they want something from him called the Book of Friends. And he's like, the hell is this Book of Friends? So, he goes through his grandma's stuff later and finds this Book of Friends, which turns out to be just... A book with several yokai's names written in it. And if you 
have a yokai's name, you control them. So all these yokai are trying to get this book from Natsume to rule over these other yokai. And some of them are peaceful and just want their name back. And all these are decidedly less peaceful. Yeah. So all of the names in this book... Natsume's grandma defeated all of these yokai in combat and took their names. Or she befriended or, them. Or, or bamboozled them. Yeah. She, she did a lot of things to get them. Mostly bamboozle or befriend. <laughs> and so he uh, goes about using the book to do what any young chap would do. If he comes across a book that grants him... Well, he doesn't really use it all that much. Yeah. I think if I had a book with power over several yeah. yokai, I'd probably use it for yeah. things. But... <laughs> He's just like, I don't really care. I don't really... Yeah, it's just it's just a thing that my grandma had. It's precious to me because it was one of her belongings, but yeah, not gonna abuse it. So and you guys can't have it either. So Nyanko Sensei really wants it. So Natsume makes a deal with him. If Nyanko yeah. protects Natsume from all of these other yokai that are after him. When Natsume dies, can Nyanko have can have the book. So yeah, that's how they get together. And they hang out and argue kind of like a married couple. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm, I'm pretty sure Madara's just hanging around because he's got nothing better to do. Yeah. He says he's there for the book, but... You... Liar, he's there for the food. <laughs> he's there for the food, he's there for the company. You can see over the course of the show that Madara, or Nyanko, has become attached to Natsume, even though he'll deny it completely. Like a, like a tsundere yeah. love interest. He, it, Madara is best Sundere Cat. I need to pick a name and stick with it and not keep swapping yeah. between Nyanko and Madara. He's Nyanko Sensei. He's Nyanko now? He is Nyanko. 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 If I ever get a Nyanko. Calico, I'm probably going to name him Nyanko. I don't know what I'd do if I had a cat. <laughs> I'm not a cat person. Aww. I'm a dog person. I am cat person 100%. And my little Aiden is best cat in the world. But moving on from the whole uh, best cats in the <laughs> world. Aside from Nyanko. Yeah. The two sort of befriend each other. Yokai keep coming to him and he... He's he... like, no... He makes it his quest to give their names back to them. To right whatever wrongs Wrong. or fulfill whatever promises that his grandma made in the past. He's just just a cool dude in general. Yeah, he's like, I'm just gonna help these people. He starts off really shy and introverted because he just... Doesn't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> Yeah, he just doesn't really trust people as or the much yokai. As he yeah. He's like, I don't like any of this. But as the series goes on, you can see him coming out of his shell and learning to be just a just more of a person, more of more a of an, more of a personality. Do per do gooder person. Like I said, this show has some crazy mystical elements, some wacky characters, but at the core of it, it is about 
personal growth and I I guess relationships. Yeah. It's about all those things, really. It's about friends, it's about family, it's about community. The people you consider your family. Yeah. There's light elements of that here or there, but it, it becomes much more of a thing later on in the show. Yeah, well, I, I haven't seen the later seasons, but I trust your word. We will get to that someday. Someday? I love this show, and we're definitely going to do more of this. Yeah, we'll definitely come back to it, because it's a very... I like the concept a lot. It's just very different from what I'm used to watching. Okay. Then again, as someone who likes Mushishi, it's Mushishi-esque, but different enough to set it apart from Mushishi. Ginko and Mushishi is is on a journey. He's got a goal. He wants to l- learn the secrets of the world. And yeah. Natsume in this show is just living. It's like, I, I just want to live with these schmucks. <laughs> that That's Natsume in a nutshell, right? Yeah. He just wants... He just wants to get by. He wants to help the people he can. Yeah. He's like, I just want to have a good time, relax, and let people have a good life. Yeah. So the first season of Natsume Yujin Cho came out in 2018... And I watched it... Well, 2008. My apologies, let me... (laughs) God dang it. It it may be current year, but (laughs) this show did not come out current year. I I mean, maybe... When I was typing that up, I typed that as well. God (laughs) dang it. Not current year. <laughs> yeah, let me uh, let me redo that line. <clears throat> so the first season of Natsume Yujin Show came out in two thousand eight, and I watched it around the same time when it came out. It just oh. kept popping up in my in my recommended, and it looked interesting, so I checked it out, and I didn't see a lot of people talking about it back then. I may not have been on the right forums, but I I certainly didn't expect it to get six seasons it's got now. Yeah, I I wasn't even on anything like that way back in the day, dude. (laughs) This anime came out before I was, like, even animating beyond Naruto. Now you make me feel young. (laughs) And I watch a lot of anime. <sighs> but... Let's just talk about the art and stuff. Yeah. Uh, like the art, the music. The art style has this old, grainy, out-of-focus look. Almost like a storybook. Yeah. Yeah, just like a storybook. It's not eye-catching it's it, it's not meant to really stand out it's just chill and relaxing and beautiful yeah like the animation's very fluid even when you consider the age yeah which is impressive to me as uh, someone who's seen a bunch of anime from that age and it hasn't looked as good as this one has I think this anime has aged pretty well. It's aged gracefully. It's right up there in anime that have aged gracefully with Fooly Hooly and stuff. (laughs) In terms of, like, art and animation, dude. The music is soft and relaxing. It doesn't stand out too much. It just sets the tone. Yeah. And... The atmosphere. <laughs> the atmosphere, dude. Yeah. Sets the tone, builds the atmosphere. P. I can't talk today. 
<laughs> it's fine. It happened to the best of us. I love the opening and the ED. The uh, the opening and the ending. I couldn't bring myself to skip either of them. At, I like even once watching through this. I skipped the OP once, I think. But that's because I was sort of crunching for time. Okay. And I I was trying to find something. I've had a busy week this week, cramming in the last few episodes I forgot to watch last week. Alright, yeah. And when you watch a bunch of stuff in, like, well, I don't watch a bunch per se, but like I I'm not gonna lie, I watched the last seven episodes just today. I, f I finished a couple hours before we started recording this. Oh, really? Yeah. And even watching all those episodes in a row, I couldn't I couldn't skip them. I yeah, skipping low P in that is wrong and should be punished. You the, feel incomplete if you don't watch it. The OP for this anime perfectly sets you up for the show. It perfectly yeah. sets the mood, and the ED brings you down from it. And could honestly just put you to sleep. <laughs> In a good way. In a good like, way. In the best way. Like the, oh shoot, this is really relaxing kind of way. Yeah, not the, this song is boring and there's nothing going on. Yeah. Not that. It, it strikes a balance between relaxing and interesting. For, for the most part. There were some episodes where I got a little too relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you catch my drift. Yeah, I... When I was watching the first half of these, I dozed off. I fell asleep watching, I can't remember, either five or six. Oh yeah, those episodes. Yeah, those are the ones that did me in the most. They were just so relaxing. Yeah. You just saw Natsumi a hanging out, the other person's hanging out, relaxing. So it was like, hmm. Huh? Do you have a favorite episode or moment from this? I do have a favorite episode. My favorite episode was the one about the yokai who was slow, who was with that umbrella dude. Oh yeah. And how uh, he's like, let her play one more song for for our lord, but. They had trouble getting back to the spirit world. That was Akagane and Asagi. Yeah. I really loved that episode. It was just... It... It's... To me, it's the episode that best dis shows the, show the anime's strengths. If that makes sense. Yeah. That was a really good storytelling episode. It tells a nice story about not just Natsume and him trying to deal with this, but also of the two yokai involved in the story. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What episode was your favorite? I loved Nyanko's Book of Boredom. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it, it, it was like filler to me, but good filler. Just, it, it was a Nyanko-focused episode. Just the shit he does when he's not with Natsume. They get and into a fight, little... and he gets kicked out of the house for a bit. And it's just Ny uh, Nyanko messing with Natsume's friends, j being a drunk idiot... And Being a it... little shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's stealing, but, using but... Reiko's form to slum it out. <laughs> <laughs> it also just shows how far 
Nyanko's character has come over the course of the show and how much yeah. he's become attached to Natsume. Because he actually seems kind of down that they're not hanging out. Which before he would have been like, oh, so fine. Be <laughs> that way. I'll, I'll come back for the book when you're dead. Nerd. <laughs> Something like that. So soon to write. I'm I'm the one making him soon, <laughs> Not the anime, but it's accurate. He's not the stereotypical anime soon, but he's definitely got some soon tendencies. He's like, I don't like living with humans. Proceeds to steal all of his shrimp. <laughs> Gets f fed really good food. He cleaned their pockets. This is a lesser form, is comf is sitting in a chair, being petted by Natsume. <laughs> you should see my true form. <laughs> it's getting a back rub as a cat. You need to make a uh, this is not even, this isn't even my final form picture for Nyanko sensei Oh, as like the thumbnail? <laughs> That'd be a fun thumbnail. Though... We should move on. Sorry. A bit. That happens. But, like, we get to see him grow and learn to help people. All the good stuff. It, the show gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling, you know? Yeah. This is one of those shows that I come back to time and time again. I, I watch through this all of the seasons... Once every couple of years, because I I, lo I just love the show so much. It's one of those nostalgic shows that just makes me feel good. Mm. So it it's like your version of what like Fooly Cooly is to me. Yeah. In a nutshell, like watch every once in a while. I've got a couple I often go back to, but this is one of them. It's a good one to go back to. There's a lot going on, and it's funny. It's... Be before we wrap it up, I looked into the voice actor of Nyanko Sensei. Yeah? And I found that Inoue Kazuhiko, the voice of Nyanko Sensei, also voices Kakashi Sensei. You, you, you sort of get that Kakashi vibe from him. <laughs> Nyanko it... is Kakashi. The two senseis. And also... <laughs> he also plays cars from JoJo. I thought you would appreciate that. That's, uh, that's the surprising one. Just as many... As many references to JoJo that you want. Konodi! Oh, no. It's never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry, I love JoJo. <laughs> and you know it. That's why I picked it out. I was actually trying to find a way to lead the show into our next anime. But alas... Uh, do you have anything else to add before we, uh, head off? Uh, I do. Even though we, we mentioned that this, we may have dozed off a couple of times while watching it, that's not a bad thing. It's just, it's that relaxing. <laughs> Even during finals, I, it was, well, one of the things I did to unwind was, was watch a few episodes of Natsume. Yeah. If you're, if you're looking for a good time, it, it's a good watch. Yeah. Just a really good, feel-good anime. Just the feelest, goodest anime. Got anything else? Nope. All right. I guess I'll see us off. Yeah, see us off, my dude. We've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well. Shit. <laughs> <laughs>
We share inner thoughts. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Memory. We've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well. In the comments or on our Discord. Basically the, wherever. The night parade has now come to an end. Later. Later. I love this show.